Okay, so I'm going to solve these problems. This is um, 5.4. And in this case, the difficulty is finding out the number of atoms in the formula because of the parentheses. So please pay attention, okay? So again, magnesium, three, parentheses, PO4, two. And this is magnesium, phosphate. And again, it's good to practice um, the names so that when we're done with this, you will have remembered uh, at least the most important uh, compounds. Okay. So again, look at that Mg, P, and O. Okay. Those are the only three. And how many MGs? Well, obviously it's three. So you write three. Now the P, one times two, because this is outside. So there are actually two of these groups. So one times two is two. And again, how many oxygen? Four times two is eight. And that's the hard part. So from your periodic table, you get the uh, the masses, and let's look for phosphorus here, 30.97 grams of phosphorus. And then we look for magnesium here, 24.31. And this is really a skill worth learning, okay? And now be sure when your numbers are big, and even if your numbers are small, use a calculator. So put in these ones first, because that's where the errors will come from, times 3 equals 72.93 grams of magnesium. Okay. 30.93. Uh, 97 times 2, 61 point. And again, I want to encourage everybody to do these things twice. It's actually good for you to do everything first. 16 times 0, so 8 equals. 8.00 grams of oxygen. So again, we're going to do it twice, right? 16 times 8 equals plus um, times 30.97 equals yikes. So again, 2 times 30.97 Seven. Check. And then uh, twenty-four times three. Okay. So we verified all of those. Now we're going to add them. Okay. So two hundred and sixty-two point. And we'll do it twice. Again, doing it twice is important because you want to get as high a score as possible, right? And you want to develop that um, skill of accuracy, which is the more important part. Habits of the mind. Okay, so now you're going to divide. So, um... This one divided by the total, so 72 point, I'm going to try to put it here so you can see what I'm doing. Divided by the total, 262.7 equals times 100. Don't forget the times 100, okay? So 27 point... 74. Again, two decimal places is good for percent. 
keep it consistent. Times 100. 23.56%. Uh, okay, and then 128 uh, divided by 100 48 point okay so now's the test to if you add all of that up and it becomes 100 then you're more or less sure that your answers are correct or consistent at least but of course if you do every if you solve every line twice that's even better and again the idea here is to develop so 99.9 .9, that's acceptable check right okay